Alright guys, so... <coughs> yesterday, um, I made a little video of me working on the 70. This is going to be that video. Um, the only thing is, the audio uh, of me narrating it didn't come out the best because I used my GoPro as my vlog camera. I actually have two of them, so... Um, I had one set up stationary that we're going to do like a time lapse of me working on it. But in between I did some commentary of like talking about what I was doing and everything. And that audio is not the best. So hopefully you guys are alright. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you this here. Let me get the camera all s set up. But um, as you can see, wheels are off, chains off, and I soaked the chain last night and i had it in some like carburetor cleaner a little more uh, rough and then i put it in this evapo rust uh, if anybody wants to check that out um just search evapo rust i've used it in gas tanks everything so that's where the chain's soaking at now i think i'm going to be able to save it it's actually not that bad um but it, there was a bunch of mice nest and everything up in up inside here and i think i don't know if you'll be able to see it and it's pretty dark i don't know if the camera will pick it up but there's still some of the remnants of their nest in there um but just an update um i did order a gas tank today and anyway that's that guys got my parts all laid out here it's coming along so i got a gas tank ordered coil ordered and rims ordered um and as soon as i get the coil on and the tank uh, and everything i'm gonna uh see make sure it'll run and then i'll probably order tires first and then fenders last um so it's coming along guys uh so i hope you enjoyed today's video uh sorry about the audio being bad quality but it is what it is all right guys so we're gonna be working on the atc 70 today i'm gonna try to get the wheels pulled off of it that way when the time comes and my rim gets here and I order tires we can go ahead and get those mounted up so I got another camera set up here and we're just gonna kind of use it as a thing to film me while I'm working that way I can go back and edit it later and not have to worry about it right now so we're gonna go ahead and get that one going and let's get started all right All right, well, we got it up on jack stands. All the wheels are up. Just so happened that this Barbie event actually worked out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and start popping these tires, rims off of the bike. And uh, then I'll, I'll uh, talk to you about what's so cool about these rims. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I got both the rear wheels off, and as you can see, this is the one that was bent. Uh, hold on, my wrench might be blocking you. There you go. Uh, as you can see, this is the one that's bent pretty good. This one looks fine. Um, just a bad tire. So, good to go there. Uh, I got to take the cotter key out of this front one and unfold it, and it'll actually come off with the whole axle. So, we're going to go ahead and do that next.
Alright guys, I had a slight interruption there. But um, anyway, I'm going to get back on getting the front tire. I got it unbolted. So I just got to slide the axle um, nut out and bolt and then uh, it'll be off. Alright guys, so we got the three wheels off of it now, and we're going to go ahead and come over here, and this axle, I don't know if you saw it, but it's like trying to bind a little bit, so I'm going to pull this uh, chain guard off of here, and we're going to look under there and see what's going on, so stand by. Okay, so I got the chain guard unbolted. The chain looks pretty rusty, and there's a lot of dirt inside there. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this popped off if we can. I remember these things are a pain because they have a folded edge down here um, on the bottom, which I might actually have to unbolt so yeah i think it'll be easier if i just unbolt that don't know how much this is getting in the camera range but i think if we just take this little i guess you'd call it like a skid plate i don't know okay <laughs> okay, now we should be able to get the chain guard off easily. Yep, whoa. Yep. whoa. Okay, yeah, there's been some mice in there. Looks like, wow. Huh. Alright, so as you guys saw, I took the chain cover off of my 70 here. And uh, it's filled with nothing but dirt and grease. This chain's pretty sad. I don't think I'm going to be able to save it, but I'm going to try to oil it up here with some WD-40 first and then some chain lubricant. Looks like we've had some mice in here at one point or another, um, but I'm going to move it that way. All this dust and dirt coming out of here don't get all oily and freeze down in there. We're just going to start oiling this chain. Really good. It's going to make a good little mess, but... Alright guys, so we're going to leave it there, let it soak for a while so I can at least get it so I can take it off. But if you like today's video, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. We're going to keep working on this uh, and videos for you. This ought to be a pretty good one. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.